Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into how to get started in crypto for free. This is going to take you from setting up a crypto wallet, getting what we call testnet tokens or fake tokens. They're not of any value whatsoever. They're just for testing purposes only. And we're going to show you how to get that in your crypto wallet, how to set it all up, how to send those tokens to another wallet, how to exchange those tokens. And remember, this is just learning how to get started for free. You don't have to use any of your real money. So it's a great way to learn about crypto without having to risk any of your funds. So if you're excited and want to learn more, please stick around. But before we get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn and cool rewards we earn along the way. And this is the best way to earn rewards for free. Um, I know a lot of times I, there's stuff about uh, free, you know, what's called airdrops. And that's where people test out crypto uh, applications or websites and they get paid for testing these projects the, these products so think of like Amazon in the 90s before they launched their website or your uh, or Apple before their phone comes out they have people testing the product testing the phones making sure everything works same with Amazon Facebook all these and Google all the stuff that they put out to the public needs to be tested thoroughly before it goes out into the real world. So this is essentially what we're doing for crypto projects. We're testing them and not having to use our real money. And essentially we get rewarded uh, once their product is launched. So it's an exciting, uh, fun thing to, to get involved with, especially if you're looking for some you know, income on the side. It can be very lucrative if you stick with it long term, so it's been. Uh, I can attest to that. Um, been a part of many airdrops that I've randomly received, and it has helped out tremendously. So we will take you through. And if you ever have any questions or need any further assistance navigating this space, please jump in the Discord. Link is in the description below. Um, get in there, connect with me and other people in the community, and we will help you grow and learn along with the rest of us because we are constantly learning constantly evolving <clears throat> the space is forever expanding at a fast rate and like the internet in the early days it's gonna just keep compounding so how how do you get started in crypto well first you need what's called a crypto wallet and this is one of the best wallets i have found <clears throat> Think of it like your personal bank account or your personal, uh, yeah, your personal bank account that nobody else has access to. Only you, as long as you hold what's called your keys um, or your secret phrase. And I'll show you how to set all this up and what all it, what it, exactly it means. So the purpose of this is to give you control of your funds. If you have your money in the bank, and the bank collapses, that money is pretty much gone um, for the most part, unless it's like a big bank that can give you some of the money back or back up to a certain amount. With crypto, this gives you complete 100% control of your funds. So whatever is on this wallet, you are the only one that has access to it. So remember that. And Rabi is one of the best wallets out there that I've found. There's other wallets. The wallet doesn't really matter. What matters is there's this this number and letter combination. It's what what's called your uh, hash key or your wallet address or your hex your hex address. Sorry, not the hash. The hex address. Um, this is a special number letter combination that is unique to your um, account essentially <clears throat> think of it like your per your specific bank account ID so that's your bank account ID and it comes with these 12 words or 24 words that you have to write down 
and we'll we'll show you here so we'll download this wallet and what's cool about crypto wallets is that you can take this account and you can put it into another crypto wallet so I'll show you so we'll add this one crypto wallet called Rabby and you can do all kinds of cool stuff in here <clears throat> And they also have a desktop version and a mobile version if you want to try those out. Okay, so we're downloading. And it's installing. There we go. We got our Rabby wallet. So now you want to give it access. So this is self custodial means your private keys so right here we will add an address and it says create new seed phrase and this means you're creating a new wallet so you're going to create a new account we're just going to type test wallet as the password and there you go okay now <clears throat> this is very important do not copy and paste this uh, this seed phrase so your seed phrase is very important essentially it's like the the key to unlocking your wallet and you can put it into a different crypto wallet um, I'm going to look for the Coinbase wallet. So the Coinbase wallet is another cryptocurrency wallet. And like I said, the wallet itself does not matter. It doesn't matter if it's Coinbase. It doesn't matter if it's Rabi. There's one called MetaMask. And that's a very popular one. But I, I'm trying to move away from this. But MetaMask is another wallet. It doesn't matter what the wallet is. What matters is this account that you have this phrase for. So remember, before you start, please read and keep the following security tips in mind. If you lose your seed phrase, uh, your assets will be lost forever. If you share your seed phrase with others, your assets may be stolen. The seed phrase is only stored on my computer and Rabby has no access to it. If I uninstall Rabby without backing up the seed phrase, Rabby cannot retrieve it for me. So this seed phrase that I'm going to that we're going to see, it's a different word combination for every single wallet. So you have to write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down on a piece of paper somewhere safe. Keep it somewhere safe and don't copy and paste it on here or anywhere else whoa okay that was fun all well, my windows just went down so i'm just i'm gonna copy and paste this because it's gonna be easy for me to do this but make sure no one else is watching your screen when you back up the phrase so i'm just doing this as a, a test wallet so there's not going to be any real funds in here but you can essentially take th these 12 words and go to a different crypto wallet. I'll add that. And so once you write this down in order, make sure that you write it down in order and say that you've saved it. And you can add, there's a bunch of addresses that you can add to your wallet, but I'm just gonna use just the first one. Okay, now your Rabby wallet is good to go. So now when you open your Rabby wallet, um, there you go. You see this is your wallet address right here. And we'll kind of walk through this wallet. Um, if you look right here, you can add another address. So like I said, uh, that 12 word phrase, 
If you go to MetaMask, you can say import an existing wallet. And this means you want to import the address that you just created. Because like I said, the wallet doesn't matter. What matters is this address. And this address can be imported into other wallets. So I will paste our 12 words that, so you're gonna take each one of these, right? It's dinner, victory, select. So each one of these is in order and we will import this. Just create a password. It doesn't have to be the same password as the Rabby one. It can be different. So you will import your wallet. And okay, next. Yes. Don't enable. And see this address 0xb7e60 is the same as 0 x b seven e six and then zero you know it goes on so this is what's called your this is your actual account right here this address and as long as it is compatible with what's called the ethereum uh compatible wallets like metamask your address can be imported into almost any wallet. So I found that Rabi is the, the most user-friendly and it's pretty safe and secure. Um, and then, like I said, we'll, we'll kind of walk through this wallet right here. Actually. Yeah, we'll walk through it right here. So you can add another address. Um, or you can import another address, um, connect your hardware wallets. That's in the more in-depth uh, video. You click here, you can manage the different addresses. You can name them. Um, you can find your seed phrase right here and type in your password and you can, let's see. Yeah, put in your password and just, you can copy it if you forget it. Uh, here's the QR code for your address if you're using mobile. Um, just some different housekeeping stuff. And then go back. This will show your balance, right? And you can also hide it if you click that. This will show your assets and it will show all the different networks that you have assets on. This is where you can swap tokens. And I think um, I'll show you how to get some testnet tokens as well. These are tokens that will be used for testing purposes. Um, and then here's where you can send tokens or your coins to another address. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, as well that's receive so if you want to receive on any network it'll show you your wallet address for that network because <clears throat> some of these networks have a different address right because they're they're not exactly all compatible with the same network so let's see flare no yeah i i don't know which ones um I'll have to see. But just make sure that you get the right address for that network. And then NFTs, this will show your NFTs. This will show your transactions. This is how you top up on what's called gas or transaction fees. Um, you, you pay transaction fees in Ethereum and 
you don't really have to s- do this because that's quite a lot, but you can just uh, send Ethereum across to other networks and it doesn't have to be that much. Um, here's approvals, which are the way a crypto wallet works is that it interacts with what's called a smart contract and each one of these i'll actually put um a link in the video description for ether scan i did i covered ether scan a while back and it'll give you a deeper dive into a breakdown of everything but essentially um your wallet this is a, a smart contract interaction so each one of these is a smart contract that your wallet interacts with because there's no real person it's all done through these smart contracts so if i send you some ethereum or some bitcoin or any crypto if i send you any crypto your wallet has to talk to a smart contract and you have to approve that contract to have access to your funds and there's a whole step-by-step process that instead of having people do it like at the bank you have the bank teller do the transaction and then give you the funds and so there's like kind of a middleman or if you send um if you're wiring money through you know banks and stuff they have a whole system that that does it but this essentially doesn't have any people interaction between you and the end user so it's all done behind the scenes by these smart contracts and you can actually remove your the approvals that you give the smart contracts um and that's a whole deeper dive so you don't have to get too caught up in this but just something interesting to think about so now how do we get actual tokens in our wallet so there are things called a faucet which will give you testnet tokens and since ethereum is the main network that has all of the test nets or a majority of the test nets um, you're gonna want to go to this site the sepalia slash faucet dot pk 910 de and they have a couple other networks uh, test networks that you can get tokens from now what you're gonna do is that if you have a VPN please disable it and let this run in the background but you're gonna copy your wallet address just like that you're gonna paste it in here and I'll actually I'll disconnect for right now so I'm not a robot I am not a robot. Oh yeah. It's because I uh I disconnected. my network's connected but okay I guess I need to reconnect because it's not working without it so you can't use the VPN on here unfortunately but um, come here and then click start mining and it will give you a certain amount of testnet tokens um, and you'll be able to see them in your wallet. So I have actually, my other testnet wallet right here. And it says custom networks. And these are all tokens on what we call the test networks. So I'm going to type in SEP 
or actually ETH. And then we'll look. So this says Haleski. And I, I'm looking for Sepalia because like right here, it says Sepalia and you see Haleski. There are two different ones. Um, we want Sepalia, Tycho, Sepalia right here. You see, I have 2.74. So I'm going to send some of that. Well, actually, I'm going to send some... Of Haleski. So we're going to do this. We're going to send some of this. And you can also get the faucet by clicking right here and going to POW faucet. And it'll take you to the Haleski one. And you can do the same thing for this. But essentially, what we're going to do is send Haleski. And the wallet address that I copied from here that I just created. I'm going to add it right here. Add to contacts. Um, my test wallet. And then I'm going to send over. Just say three and a half. And this add it to whitelist. That means it's a safe wallet to add or to send funds to okay so i'm sending this is how you send your tokens to another wallet so i'm sending uh this ethereum so i can use for transactions on that wallet that i just created and this is the wallet address this is the test wallet and then click send and then this will show you a breakdown of your transaction, the chain ID, where it's going from to how much the transaction fee is. And since this is a test network, this the fees don't really matter at the moment. Okay, now let's check our Rabby wallet and see what we got. Custom networks. I don't know the chain ID of Haleski. But what I can do is show you. So chainlist.org. This is how you find um, networks, blockchain networks, crypto networks. And we are looking for test net. So click on include test nets. And we want to find Ethereum or Haleski or not Haleski. Um, yeah. We want to find Haleski include test nets. Come on. Yeah, Haleski, this is your chain ID. We're going to connect our wallet. <clears throat> I don't want the MetaMask. I want... Oh, okay. So you can quick add from chain list right here. Wow, that's easy. So let's look for... Haleski, not morph Haleski. We just want regular Haleski. Confirm. And we will add another one from Chainlist. And Sepalia. You just want regular Sepalia down here. S E P O L I A. That's it. So these are some test networks we will be dealing with okay well interesting well 
Wow, this is having so much trouble. Okay, let's see if we can find another address. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna test this out again. Custom networks, add network. Sepalia. And then we'll add that and I will change this. Nope. Um, let me try a different one. This is my first time doing all this in here. So I'm kind of learning too. So Sepalia, we will change this URL and there you go. So if that doesn't work, come here and find a different URL, but make sure that it has a good score and privacy metric. Um, now we can close out of here. And once you get some testnet tokens, um, we can go and send these tokens to another network. So there are other testnet works um, people develop their product on. And these different networks have different advantages, um, whether that's transaction fees are really low, um, the speed and execution of transactions are much faster on some networks opposed to others. Some networks are made for gaming. Some net networks are made for entertainment. Um, some networks are built for art and collectibles. So there's all kinds of different applications for different networks. And these are all kinds of different networks that are test networks that allow developers to build their product in a testing uh, space. So you can come in and break stuff and nothing will, will really matter because it's, it's not real money. So this is a website called orbiter.finance and this is a rinkby.orbiter.finance and I'll send all the links below. This is a way to send your tokens across to different networks. So I s remember I sent that Ethereum to my crypto wallet here and you see how it's arrived at 3.5. Now what I can do is I will disconnect from here and you'll connect your wallet by clicking connect wallet and clicking your MetaMask and it will ask you to verify some stuff to confirm then close this. Now you want to send your Ethereum from now, where is Haleski find Haleski or find Sepalia right here. If you want to use those and I'm going to send some of this across to Sepalia. I'm going to send one and a half or 1.5. So this shows that I'm sending 1.5 Ethereum from Haleski to Sepalia. And this is what I received. It doesn't have to be equal amounts on both chains in a test net because test nets have different ways they figure out pricing. So we're going to send this. And also, um, make sure that your, your fee isn't really high. That's a good fee for most bridges. And it shows the total that you're sending 1.5 plus the fees shows an identification code, how much you will receive and you're sending 1.5 ETH to this address. And then from this address to here, you'll confirm and send. And this is kind of uh, zoomed in, but 
you want to confirm the transaction and that is what's called an interaction with the smart contract that that clicking of the buttons that talks to a piece of code and says hey send this crypto token from this network to this network and it handles all that in the background so you can use tokens on different networks for different purposes and this is another um, what's called a token bridge platform where you can you know, click here where the little network icon is and go to test nets and you can do the same thing. You can bridge from Haleski um, yeah, basically the same thing as Orbiter. I like Orbiter better. Now, if we go to Sepalia, we'd be able to bridge to all these different test networks. And then to use this crypto, I just recently did a video and I'll do this real quick because uh, this is going to be the end <clears throat> because this will kind of tailor into your testnet experience. And I'll share the video or the, the link to the testnet playlist. So you can start from the most recent or the, the most recent video on there and just kind of go through the incentivized test nets. And once you get the wallet set up, you get your test net tokens. You can send those tokens to different networks because different projects will use these different networks. Sometimes a project will use multiple test networks. Um, so Tyco is a, at the end of their test net phase and they will launch their um, what's called a main net or main network, which goes live to the public and it is no longer in using fake tokens it will have real money involved so it is a big deal and this is essentially how we test out the network so Tyco has its own token bridge just like orbiter Tyco has its own token bridge so we're gonna test this out right and this is using the Haleski um, chain so we're gonna connect our wallet we'll connect our Rabi And now you have two choices, Haleski and Hecla. Hecla is the is the test network that Tyco uses. So we're gonna pick Haleski since we have Ethereum there. And I, I went through this in the Tyco video, but I wanna just kind of show you how to how to go from here to using it here. And you know, get the wallet, get your test net tokens, you can send your tokens over to whatever or you can just get Haleski tokens from the faucet and then we'll send over one ethereum to the tyco network and why do we want to participate in uh this project's test network because we are testing out their product for them and they essentially will reward you for testing out all these features because it's not live yet. And this shows that as long as these transactions are executed, it shows that it's working properly if there's no failures and it, it essentially helps their team out um, and getting this product out faster. So this is a review of your transaction, where it's from to, we're going from Haleski to Hecla, one, one Ethereum, and you can edit this stuff to the recipient address yourself and the processing fee. So we will go to bridge and then this will show up and requesting from so how much you're sending, how much your balance is, and we will send. So there we go. There we go. 
Now, Tyco has its own faucet as well, where you can get um, what's called their their own tokens. So you can get their horse token, and this will this is just another one of their tokens to test the network with. So come and click on this, and it's just basically free, like fake tokens. So you can see your transaction progress here. And this is what's called, you know, like I said earlier, this is the blockchain explorer. This shows you your transaction, the status, the what's called the block number. And if you ever heard blockchain, think of little blocks connected with chains, little blocks in a row connected by chains. And this is essentially a block of transactions. So you can see where the transaction goes from, comes from, interacts with, and goes to um, the token. And there we go, token minted successfully. And that means that you've created the token. And then you can see your transactions right here. Now, right here is the token swap. And okay, we can go to claim. And since I don't have any tokens on Hecla yet, um, I think it automatically claims. Yeah, so you, you just wait for your tokens to arrive on the other chain. So if you want to swap tokens on here, Many projects will have its own token swap feature and you want to make sure it's Tyco, Tyco Hecla. Log in with your Rabi wallet. And what this is doing right here, this is allowing you to connect to the site. And I know it says danger there. There are quite a few websites I've run into where it says this. Um, this one is not dangerous. Um, so I know I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to work with the team on getting some of these sites uh, in, a, in a better status because this is kind of misleading. It is a great feature, but it's misleading with test networks, I've noticed, because it's very uh, sketch. Uh, some of them can be sketchy, but this one is, is confirmed. I've been using it for a while. So you can just disregard this. But in most cases, like pay attention. If you have any questions, reach out to me, please. Okay, it looks like we do have our one Ethereum right here. As you can see, we are on the Tyco Hecla testnet. I have my one Ethereum. <clears throat> and what you can do is you can take some of this Ethereum and you can buy another token with it. So I will click on USDC and I will put 0 0.1 or 0 0.05. Let's just do that. And this is how you swap tokens or swap coins. So if you want to buy another token somewhere, this is how you do it. It shows you how much you're paying, how much you received, your transaction fees, or the network fees, I'm sorry. And then it'll show your transaction fee right here. And if you wanna do a standard transaction speed, fast or instant, remember they all come at different costs. So you'll sign and confirm. Now your transaction has been submitted and you can view it, like I said, on the blockchain explorer and sometimes it takes a while for it to pop up. There you go. Once that loads. So it's, I know it, there's a lot of technical stuff, but it can be fairly simple. You know, just creating a wallet, like step-by-step. Step. Remember, don't copy that seed phrase or the security phrase. Write it down on a piece of paper and save it somewhere safe. And then once you have your wallet, you know, you copy your address, paste it in here, 
and click on start mining and you can have it run for an hour and collect tokens and then when you have those tokens um come here and start sending it to different test networks and follow the videos from the link below or uh, the, the the description below the test net playlist is very important and go with the most recent ones the incentivized test net guide is great because you can participate in a bunch of different projects for free. Also, Initia, check that one out too. But Tyco, especially, um, kind of go go watch that one after this and follow how to do everything um, as much as you can. But please, if you do have any more questions or need any help, jump in the Discord. I'll be happy to help and get you started along your journey. Um, please let me know, you know, in the comments, if this has helped, um, I'm looking for any ways to make this easy for everyone, but I appreciate you all so much. Um, and with that, this is the blockchain report. Happy testing and happy crypto hunting. Peace.